Well, I, I'm playing Pop, who is the grandfather in the story. Um, the protagonist, young buddy, is nine years of age, and he's my grandson. Uh, and I guess this being uh, Ken's memory of his own grandparents, um, is cast Judy Gench uh, and myself as Pop and uh, Granny. Uh, which is a huge thrill for me. I don't know about how she feels about it, but I'm absolutely delighted to, to um, have uh, Dame Judy Dench as my missus. Uh, uh, long suffering as she may be in this role because uh, Pop, is very interesting, he's called Pop as the grandfather. He's, he's you know, he's a working class man uh, who's never really pushed himself, never really got on uh, he was an ex-miner. He went over to England to to work the coal mines in the um, in late 40s, 50s. Because, as I remember, the wages in England were much higher, even if they weren't that much, than they were in the north of Ireland at that time. So people sometimes left the north of Ireland to go and work in England and come back once a month to be back with the family, but maybe bring more money in to help run the house and. Uh, Pop did that for many years. So the relationship between Pop and his wife, Granny, Lizzie, as she is, um, she's long suffering, I think. She's suffered his, that he wasn't a man who actually took the house and took the responsibility and actually raised them up from where they were. And uh, she held on to the purse strings quite tightly. And he was always just trying to eke out uh, a little in that kind of, old style manly way uh, so and he's he's very devoted to her i think he needs her and, you know they've been from childhood they've been sweethearts but she could maybe see the back of him but he wouldn't be able to survive without her and i was there when suddenly i got a call to say um i the work was further from my head i was having a gorgeous soft time in Lyon, actually uh by the rivers and uh, then this call came out of the blue to say that uh, Ken uh, was making a film and he would like you to play his grandfather in it and maybe you could talk to him about it. <laughs> so it was sort of the blue because I'm, I'm, uh, Ken and I, I think we've only met twice and for like two minutes at a time in the 40 years we've been working. But we've never moved in the, in the same circle. Uh, so A, to hear that he was going to offer me a job was a, a huge thrill. This script, which was so delicate and soft and warm and funny and with the backdrop of the shit hitting the fan and all the trouble starting in 1969 and the violence and the burning out of homes and people on the run and, and yet inside this it's very much as I remember the warmth of people and family and that's really at the heart of this story. I've never worked with um, Judy and uh, but I've heard I've seen her so many times being brilliant and I've um, and I've heard a lot of stories about her being quite, um, I don't know what the word is. Would it be naughty or cheeky, whatever, just around the set, but brilliant. We see how brilliant she is. And <laughs> actually go and throw myself at her as her old man it was more than thrilling. And then they throw in one of the most handsome men in town, Jamie Dornan, for a son. So, you know, we've got to back up. And then he happens to marry this beautiful and hugely talented Katrina Balf, and we're we're quite the family. <laughs> we're not smug about it. Naturally, Ken Ken is able to, uh, you know, he's he's so brilliant. He's so quick. He's so sharp. So intelligent. There's such, as far as I can see, vast reserves of knowledge. He's able to put them into practice economically and with a speed that allows things to keep ticking over. And yet, at the same time, he's able to find warmth, camaraderie. Uh, time for a little fun, but meanwhile, uh, this extraordinary discipline is moving everything in the right direction, and it's great to be around that because it, it puts you at your ease. It's never sometimes in front of camera. It can be uh, touchy and dangerous, difficult. People listen. This is just uh, allowing things to happen. This young fellow that they found called Jude Hill. It, it's funny sometimes when you, you know, you see uh, people with all these gifts and talents, and then there's just little blonde fellow of 10, 9, 10 years of age with little freckles and a uh, sweet open face. And yet, with this wonderful seriousness he has, 
and there's this instant access to humor or a joke and his openness and suddenly you go like this is extraordinary this is like a young Ken Branagh actually in the French not me but this is it this seems to be it and I don't know how they found somebody like this somebody's done an awful lot of work and then to watch Ken work with him never once telling him what to do just suggesting or asking him questions seeing how he finds it and letting him develop his own thoughts at nine or ten to how he feels about the situation to try and catch that in camera it's quite wonderful to watch to be around that